Hello, and welcome to another video from Cisco Talos. In our previous video, we went through the process of configuring a phone with a malicious MDM server. In this installment, we're going to address a couple of key questions. The first and most common question is, how do I know if my device is being remotely managed? The short answer is, it's easy, but let's go ahead and demonstrate it anyway. Here you can see a typical iPhone. If you open Settings and then select General, you're brought to this screen. If you scroll down to the bottom, there is a section labeled Device Management. When you select it, it shows you the remote management servers that could be configured on your phone. If this section is empty, then you do not have a MDM server configured and you can go about your day. Now one thing to keep in mind is that you may have a legitimate MDM server on your phone as well. If you are part of an enterprise or have MDM on your phone as part of your job, please keep that in mind before you try and remove it. If you do click the specific MDM instance, you can get further information about the MDM, including things like which apps and restrictions are in place. As we showed you in our previous video, both a malicious app, WhatsApp, is installed on the phone, and also there are restrictions in place specifically around age for applications. Now there is another way you can determine if you may have restrictions enabled. If you go back to the main settings screen and select general, you can scroll down and then select restrictions. As you can see, most of the restrictions are off. But under Allowed Content, you can see that applications have an age restriction of 9 or older, per the policy that we pushed from the malicious MDM server. Now finally, on to the second question. I have a malicious MDM server. How do I remove it? It's actually in the same location as the previous information we found related to that MDM server. Starting from the beginning, if you go to Settings and then select General, and then finally select Device Management, you're brought to this screen, which should look really familiar as it's the same location we used to identify what MDM server was configured and what apps and restrictions were in place. The difference this time is instead of going through that, we're just going to click the Remove button and remove it from the phone. That's it. At this point, the remote management is removed and all the associated apps and restrictions removed right along with it. Thank you so much for watching and tune in next time for the newest threat that's setting the internet on fire.